The Blazers look to end a four-game skid against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The top-ranked Timberwolves, who are currently riding a three-game winning streak, will play this Thursday against the Blazers in a night matchup at the Moda Center. The Blazers, who are currently on a four-game skid, haven't found the win column since that January 31st matchup against Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Blazers will look to rebound with a win over the Timberwolves Thursday night at 7. Welcome to this Coin 6 Sports Report. I'm William Albert. Last night, the Trailblazers closed out their road trip in the Windy City, where things came down to the wire. Damian Lillard was in attendance to watch his former squad. Portland down nine in the fourth. Blazers dominate on the glass. Duoparif with the tip in, 14 points off the bench. Now down with a pair with just over three minutes to go, Anthony Simons from distance. The three gives the Blazers a one point lead. They trail by three with two seconds in regulation. Simons for the tie, but can't seem to convert. The Blazers drop this one 110 to 107. They next return home to host the Clippers on Wednesday. And that'll do it for the sports update. I'm William Albert from Coins X Sports. Good night. Game on. Presented by Pacific Office Automation. Hey everyone and welcome to Game On. I'm William Albert and what a terrific run it has been for the Oregon State Beavers. Today they have their biggest challenge yet in Albany, New York. The plan? Try to take down the program that hasn't lost in their prior 35 straight games. Obviously it was easier said than done. The Beavers looking to deal South Carolina a devastating blow. OSU got off to a great start from beyond the arc. Sophomore marksman Lily Hansford who cashes in with four threes on the day. Reagan Beers, in the meantime, continued to be a menace in the paint. Beers with a team I-16, but she had Timmy Gardner both got in trouble and foul trouble with some suspect of fishing all game long. But OSU was only down four at halftime. But of course, the Gamecocks woke up. They go down on a 12-0 run, outscoring the Beavs 21-13 in that third. OSU got crushed by the 22 offensive rebounds, which led to a 28 second chance points that compared to just four second chance points from OSU. The Bees were killed on points in the paint, a 44-14 edge for SC. It all added up to a 70-58 loss for the Bees. From being picked to finish 10th in the Pac-12 preseason poll to reaching the Elite Eight, this was one of Scott Ruick's most impressive feats to date. And the Hillsborough native couldn't be more proud of his team's accomplishments this season. In our sport where it seems like controversy is the flavor all the time for some reason, and we all have to have something to whine about, this team just keeps it simple and does everything right. And y'all are probably bored with it. Shame on you, that's what I'd say. Um, everybody needs to get to know this team, everybody needs to watch this team, and everybody needs to be like this team. The world would be better if everyone focused on this instead of a lot of the other things. What a season for Oregon State as they have played their final year in the Pac-12 Conference. Back here in Portland, controversy over the court, but how does something like this happen at this level? Prior to today's Texas-North Carolina State game, it was revealed that the three-point line on one side of the court was an incorrect distance. The three-point line at the top of the key of one side was about a foot shorter than the other side. Luckily, the mistake was noticed prior to the tip-off. However, there were four sweet 16 games that had already been played on this incorrectly distanced court. Definitely not good. Despite the controversy, Texas and North Carolina State, while not certainly a fan, both agreed to play on in today's scheduled Elite Eight matchup. NC State's Isaiah James is putting her name on the map here in Portland. This young lady is the real deal and was nails from downtown making seven nine three point attempts 27 points from the junior, and down goes a number one seed in NC State with a 76-66 upset win. So just one game remains in Portland's regional. It all comes down to USC or UConn for the last spot in the Final Four. Trojans and Huskies tip things off tomorrow night at 6:15 at from Moda. Those three-point lines are expected to be corrected for this game and are probably getting worked on as we speak. The national championship takes place in eight days in Cleveland.